Hello everybody, this is Max with uh, A1WebsitePro.com and today we're going to be talking about SPF records. Sender, sender policy framework is what SPF stands for and people make it a lot harder than what it actually is. Okay, I looked around for videos for my clients to watch to help them to do it, but I couldn't find anything that was real simple. So basically, this is an SPF record. Okay, and this is what it kind of looks like. Uh, the version is SPF1. We're going to an IPv4 address. Now, this IP address would be the IP address of your mail server. Not necessarily the one that your website is on, but the one that handles your mail. Okay, just because your website could be at 22.22.2.2.2 doesn't mean that your mail server is there too. So you would want to find out where your mail server is. Like if you have your mail with uh, Google, you want to get there, you could put google.com in there for Google. Or maybe you're using Outlook. So you would put uh, Outlook. Outlook will provide the SPF record for you. Okay, so here's the SPF record for our particular server here at A1 Website Pro, or at A1 Sold, rather. You just go to, go, to the, go to this DNS zone file, okay? And you click Add a Record, just like this. And this is if you're, man, if you're on, like, GoDaddy or A1 Website Pro or something of that nature. You click Add a Record. It's going to bring up a uh, little box here. And what you want to do from this drop-down box is you want to hit Text, T-X-T. As far as the host, just put the at symbol. The at symbol is just your domain. It's the same thing as putting in a1sold.com. But we're just putting the at symbol because that's what it understands. And then we just paste in our SPF record and click finish. Okay. Now, how do you know that, that it's verified? Okay, so that's, that's the next step. If you go to this little... Uh, tool it's at kitterman.com i'll have it in the description in this video we'll put in a1sold.com and then we'll verify the spf record and we can see here that it's valid we get the uh, under the evaluation spf record pass validation uh with spf python sf library you know so that, that's good that's how you do it and uh that's all there is to it so there's it's not really any big deal just the main thing is that you get your IP address to your mail server, okay? And then you'll put this. I'll leave this in the description below. I'll put X's in here for, for your IP address. And then you just put hyphen all. There's a lot of people that use a little squiggly sign. You don't want to use that. You want to use the hyphen. All right, this is Max with AM Website Pro. I hope this has been simple and very helpful to you. Uh, have a good day.